Chaplain Dominus. We've made our way onto the Prometheum fields. What further information do you need from us? Find me that big mech, so we know where to strike. Right away, sir. Big mech found, sir. What further do you want us to do? Well done. Now transmit your position and await our arrival. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a Glacial Geek narrative campaign. I am Phil, the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Tier 1 Cards and Games in Anchorage, Alaska, where I will be uh, fighting the first battle in the battle for Thrace. So this story that we've got going on here is that the orcs have invaded an Imperial planet, the Imperial planet of Thrace, and they've been... Uh, beating into the Imperial Guard that have been trying to hold this city, hold this planet, and all they have really left is the Imperial Guard are here in the main hive city. Uh, so the story that we've got going on here is that the Dark Angels have been sent in to go uh, help uh, help liberate this planet from the Xenos threat and uh, take it back for the Emperor. So we are going to be fighting our first mission over here in the Prometheum fields um, and trying to make a beachhead here. So we will be playing a 750 point game and we will come back to you with the deployment. So for the Dark Angels, I'll be running a combined arms detachment. Leading off that detachment, we have an interrogator chaplain with a jump pack and the Shroud of Heroes. We have a five-man scout squad with camo cloaks and sniper rifles. We have a second five-man scout squad with camo cloaks and sniper rifles. We have a five-man tactical squad with a plasma gun and a drop pod as a dedicated transport. We have an attack bike with a heavy bolter. We have a four-man Ravenwing bike squadron with two plasma guns. And last but not least, we have a ten-man assault squad with jump packs and two flamers. And for the orcs, he'll be running a combined arms detachment. Leading off the detachment, we have Big Mech Bug Zappa. He has heavy armor, custom Mega Blaster, custom Force Field, and a Cyborg body. We have a 10-man Grot Squad with a Runt Herder with a Grab a Stick. We have a second 10-man Grot Squad with a Runt Herder with a Grot Prod. We have a three-man Killican Squad with two Grot Zookas and a Scorcha. We have a second Killican squad with two Scorchas and a Grotzuka. We have a Daka jet. And last but not least, we have a Blitz bomber. So here we are on the planet of Thrace. So the story that we've got here is that uh, some forward observers, the, uh, the scouts here, uh, infiltrated into this section of the planet uh, trying to find uh, the big mech that was in charge of the Prometheum fields here that supplied uh, the airport, uh, the, uh, the, the DACA jet port, the jet port of the, uh, <laughs> of the orcs here on the planet in this sector. Um, so they found the location and moved out and uh, started to deploy and called in uh, the interrogator chaplain, interrogator chaplain Dominus, to come in and try to, uh, to take out the orcs that were here and hopefully assassinate the big mech who was uh, holding sway here. Um, so that's the, that's what we've got going on here. Um, the basic plan that we've got going on here for this narrative story is that I've got to control the center here. So um, if I can get units uh, that are within nine inches of the center of the board there, I will have and hold it at the end of the at the end of the turn at the end of the game, then um, I will have achieved the primary objective, which is securing this location for further reinforcements to come in. Um, and the secondary objective is to try to assassinate uh, Big Mech uh, Bug Zappa over there uh, before he runs off the board. Because about turn four, he's going to realize that he's in over his head, unless he, of course, he just wipes me, <laughs> which is entirely impossible. So, um, but yeah, so by turn four, he's going to realize that things are getting a little bit hairy, and he's going to try to make his way off the table to go warn the others that, uh, that the Dark Angels are coming. Uh, so we want to try to take him out before he can do that. Um, so that's what we've got going on here. Um, as of right now, he set up first because my guys came in and uh, found out where they were. But he is going to be able to uh, seize the initiative on a 5+. plus. If he can get the 5+, plus, then... Um, 
the reason being that they happened to see some of the scouts or heard the engines roaring as they came into the came onto the planet here. So uh, yeah, all my guys are over here coming in, and I've got my guys in the drop pod. So they heard something or saw something that alerted them, and that's why they get to go first. So let's see. Did they hear anything? Yes, they did. Oh, with a five. I should have just made it a six. <laughs> all right. So he will. Uh, he will. He sees the initiative here. So he will be going first. So we will come back to you um, after movement phase for the orcs here on turn one. All right, movement phase for the orcs here on turn one. These guys are shuffling up this way, trying to go into them. These guys over here are shuffling around this way to try to take out my uh, scouts over here. These guys over here are shuffling up this way. And these guys over here are shuffling over this way. And his flyers are obviously still in reserve. So that's it for movement phase. So we will come back to you with a shooting phase here on turn one. All right, so starting off here, these guys, seven of them can see and are within range of just that one guy on the end there. So hitting on, uh, hitting on what? Fours? Hitting on fours. So we've got, uh, we got, whoop, we got three hits. Sorry. So we got three hits. Strength what? Uh, three. Strength three, so wounding on fives. We've got nothing. All right, Big Mech is going to fire into these guys with his custom Mega Blaster. Hitting on uh, fours. Yep. Hitting on fours, that's a hit. Wounding on a two. That's a wound. AP two. Uh, they are, what's up? Yeah, four up, cover save, plus they've got Camo Cloak. So three up, cover save. He's good with a full phase. Woo! All right, these guys are gonna fire into them. We've got just the one uh, uh, Gratzuka that's gonna fire into here. So he's gonna place it right there. So he'll hit three on a direct hit. Um, that's a direct hit. So we got three hits over here. I did not jink. Uh, so uh, that's the first shot. Second shot is scattering off. What's his uh, ballistic uh, skill? Three. Ballistic skill three. So they're gonna be scattering off six inches that direction from the back there, which actually might hit a bunch of my guys over here. Yep. So that's gonna hit. Uh, two or three. That's uh, gonna hit three of those guys. So we got three on here and three on here. So we'll go on to these ones over here. So strength six, right? Yep. Strength six. Strength six. So wounding on threes onto those guys. Uh, we got two wounds. Two three up armor saves. Uh, one dead. Okay. And then we've got three into here. Hit, uh, wounding on twos. Uh, we got two wounds. Two three up armor saves. Uh, one is dead from there as well. All right. All right, and that is it for the orc turn here. He's going to have a run that he's going to do, but again, or two runs, they're going to be boring to watch. So he'll do those, and we'll come back to you after a movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn one. All right, movement phase here for the Dark Angels. These guys jumped up this way. These guys shuffled around except for the one guy in the front there. Uh, these guys shot over this way. These guys shuffled around so they can get some better positioning over here inside the building. Um, and these guys dropped in right there. Boom. All right, so that is uh, movement phase for the Dark Angels. We will come back to you with the shooting phase here on turn one. All right, these guys here are going to fire into the grots over here. So the front guy up right up there is a flamer. So he's got four shots there, or four hit. He can hit four of them. So uh, wounding on threes. Uh, we got three wounds, three dead, right? All right, three dead. And now here come the uh, the bolt pistols are going to fire into them. So we've got eight bolt pistols and one from the interrogator chaplain. His is going to be hitting on a two. So threes and two. All righty. All right, pretty good. Uh, strength four, toughness three, wounding on threes. Toughness what? Two. Two? Yeah. Oh, toughness two. Yeah. Oh, so wounding on twos. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six five ups, because it's going through the wall over there. Come on, corrugated fence. Oh, hey, not bad. So two or three are dead. Three are dead, okay. All right, now these guys are going to fire into them over there. So we got four that are snap firing because they moved. One is going to be firing full, which is going to be the black. So hitting on sixes and three. That one is cocked. Oh, hey, we got one. Uh, because this is a snap fire, it's not actually a precision shot. So, wounding on a four. That's a wound. So, one guy is dead. All right, moving over here, the heavy uh, bolter is going to fire into these guys. So, three shots hitting on threes. All right, we got one hit, wounding, uh, glancing on a six. No, nothing. All right, now we've got two rapid-firing plasma guns firing into them. So, 
Hitting on threes. Oh, God. All right, we got three hits, but one gets hot. Three up. Uh, armor save. No, he did. Okay, not great. So we got three here. We got to do it, I guess, one at a time. Or no, we just did. They're glancing on fours. That one is cocked. All right, so we got two pens and a glance. Um, so we'll do, let's do the pens first. Yep. So we're going to do the pen. Uh, it's plus one because it's AP2. Oh, they're not open topped, are they? Nope. Not open topped. So just plus one to the result. On the first one is five, weapon destroyed. And the second one is nothing. But So that's three hull points. Is that one dead? Yeah, so All right. one will keel over. One will keel over. Oh, they're just two hull points each? Oh, okay. So then he just has a... Uh, um, yeah, a glance. All right. All right, now these guys are going to fire into his big mech over there. They're all going to be snap firing since they moved. So, hitting on sixes. Show me some fill facers. I got two. All right, not bad. Not bad. All right, uh, that dropped down there. I'll get that in a second. Uh, so, wounding on fours. Sixes are rending. Nope, nothing. All right, so now these guys are going to fire into his big mech over there. So, we've got three rapid firing uh, bolters. We got one bolt pistol and then we've got two uh, a rapid firing plasma gun. So, hitting on threes. Alrighty, that's what I like to see. Um, what's his toughness? Four. Toughness four. So, greens are going to be wounding on fours. Blacks are going to be wounding on twos. Alrighty, so we've got Three armor saves and one invul save. So, the three armor saves, what are they? Uh, they would be four ups. All right, so we got three four ups. Uh, it takes one wound. So feel no pain. Oh, feel no pain. Cyborg. Oh, well done. Daka. All right, Daka. And then we've got the one uh, strength seven AP two shot coming in here. So what's, the, what's his invul? Oh, oh, four up cover save? Yeah. And he's good. Brilliant. And then Storm Bolter here is going to fire into the grot. So, hitting on threes. We got two hits. Wounding on twos? Wounding on twos. Got two wounds. Five up in Five up in because of the uh, because of the being the, the custom uh, force field that's going over there? Nope. Two dead. <laughs> All right. Alright, that's it for the shooting phase. Now moving on to the assault phase. These guys are going to assault into them. So, we got Overwatch here. Hitting on sixes. You got nothing there. All right, so now they've got, uh, they're a little over nine inches away and they have to go over this wall and I use my jump pack for the uh, movement phase. So we're looking at a 12 inch charge. Can I see a double fill first? Oh, I saw the first one before the other one came to rest. So they did not make the charge. All right, so that is it for the, uh, for the Dark Angel's turn here on turn one. We'll come back to you after movement phase here on turn two for the orcs. Oh, and he passed all his leadership tests that he needed to make. So we'll come back to you on turn, after movement phase for turn two orcs. All right, the orc reaction continues here. Uh, finally getting a grip onto what's going on. So they start moving forward. These guys moved up this way. These guys turned around to look at the big giant pod that dropped behind them, making a big old bang noise. He's still facing off trading shots off with my scout snipers over here. In came the, the DACA jet. The DACA jet came on in. Uh, these guys are trudging their way over this way. And these guys held strong and are moving over this way. So that's it for the movement phase here for orcs on turn one, or turn two. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, starting out the shooting phase, these guys are gonna fire into my assault marines over here. So three shots hitting on fours. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's a whole lot of ones. All right, now this squad's going to fire up on top of there. So he's going to have four Grotzuka rounds firing up on top there. So Shift let's one. see who goes one. Uh, goes off three inches this way. Nothing. Nothing on that one. All right, next one is direct hit. So that's going to be three. Cool. Next shot. Whoa, that's going that way two inches. Does that hit anyone? It does hit one. All right. And then we've got shot four. It's going to be way off this way, but I'm not going to hit anybody. Nah, because I think it's more this way. Yeah. So, all right. So we've got four hits onto them over there. So strength six, right? Yep. Strength six. So wounding on twos. All right. <laughs> we got three wounds. All right, so three three-up cover saves. 
And whoa, two are dead. Brutal. All right, now the DACA jet's gonna fire into my tactical squad over here. So, hitting on fours? Yep. Hitting on fours? Oh, wait, uh, fours or, or fives? Fours, because it's straight. Oh, fours because it's straight and run. So we got three hits. All right, strengths. Oh, twin linked. I forgot, twin linked. Yep. Oh, wow, cool. All right, so we got six hits. Strength six, AP five, so looking for twos. Okay, so we got four wounds. Four three ups. And two are dead. Man, I am not getting it. Oh. And now the Grots are going to fire into the tactical squad. So we got eight shots hitting on fours. Alrighty, pretty good. And then strength three, so wounding on fives. Uh, we got two wounds. Two three up armor serves. Oh, another one dead. Oh, brutal. And now he's gonna fire into these guys. Hitting on a three, three or four? Hitting on a four, that's a hit. Wounding on a two. That's a wound. Three up, cover save. He's good. Woo! All right, now these guys are gonna fire into my attack bike over here. Both of them hit them with the flamer, and then one of the flamers can actually hit one of the guys over there. So we're gonna do the two on the attack bike. Looking for fours, that's two wounds. Two, three up, armor saves. He's good. And then the one shot onto the other guy, hitting on a, uh, wounding on a three. Nope, so, nope, nothing. Or four, actually. All right, so that's it for the shooting phase. On to the assault phase. These guys are gonna assault into them. So, uh, wall of death for the flamer there, D3. Got three. All right, uh, toughness two, right? So actually, wounding on twos. Uh, three are dead. <laughs> All right, so then you've got the run herd, but I've got a bunch of uh, bolt pistols here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hitting on fives and sixes. All right, we got a cup. Wow, actually, we got a whole bunch there. All right, uh, toughness four on him. All right, toughness four on him. So um, looking for uh, looking for fours. Uh, we got one wound. What's uh, six? Up. Six? Up. Oh no, because it's oh, AP yeah. five. No, no, he's oh, so he's just dead. All right, there we go. That's actually first blood. Woo! And now these guys are going to charge into them. So they are three inches away. So they're going to have a five-inch charge because they got to go through that fence there. So I'm going to fire Overwatch. The greens are going to be the rapid fire bolter. Uh, blacks are going to be the rapid firing uh, plasma gun. So hitting on uh, hitting on fives and sixes. Okay, so we got one and one. Three up armor save for this gets hot. Ah, uh, he's good. Okay, so wounding on. Uh, actually, both are wounded on twos. So both are wounded on twos. Uh, we got two wounds. Uh, they've got a two. Oh, don't they have the uh, custom force field? So two five up saves. Yeah. Uh, we got one dead rot. All right, that actually might increase the uh, charge range, so we'll figure that one out and come back to you. All right, yeah, that actually ended up uh, adding a little bit of an inch. So we've got a six-inch charge over here. Oh, and they make it barely, but they make it. All right, we'll move them in. All right, so now these guys are going to charge into my attack bike over here. So I'm going to fire Overwatch with my heavy bolter. So hitting on uh, fives and sixes because I didn't jink. All right, so I got two hits. Glancing on sixes, show me some fill faces. No, no fill faces. Wah, wah. All right, so he's got uh, basically anything but. Yeah, they are in. All right, so we'll move them in and then we'll come back to you with the fight sub phase. All right, so moving over here, we're gonna start here. He's got two strength five hammer of rest, wounding on fours. We got one wound, three up armor save. No, he takes a wound. All right, and then we'll come back to you with an issue step four. All right, so I'm going to use a crack grenade here. So uh, I've only got one attack, so hitting on a, what's your weapon skill? Weapon skill two? All right, so hit, hitting on a three. That's cocked. Three. That's a hit. Get over here. All right, uh, strength six, so glancing on a five. No, nothing there. All right, we'll come back to you with his attacks. All right, so they've each got two base plus one for the charge, so six attacks here. Hitting on fours. Oh, we got two. 
All right, strength seven, so wounded on twos. Can I see double ones? No, he did. Okay. <laughs> AB2. So I will uh, kill him, and then he will consolidate. All right, and we will come back to you with the next fight. All right, so then moving over to here. My guys are going to go first. So we got two attacks hitting on uh, threes. Got one hit. Wounding on toughness two, so wounding on twos. That's a wound. No save? Or no, no save? Oh, no save. Okay. All right. So then we will come back to you with his attacks. All right, so now moving on to the Grats here. There's uh, six of them, so they've got one base plus one for the charge east. So we got 12 attacks. Hitting on fours. All right, that one's cocked right there. All righty. So we've got uh, five hits over here. Oh, no, six hits. Sorry, six hits. Forgot about that one. So we got six hits. Uh, wounding on five, strength what? Strength two. Oh, strength two. So wounding on sixes. Kick his shins. Uh, we got nothing. All right. So we'll come back to you with the uh, run herder. All right. So now his run herder there is going to use the high voltage uh, attack with his prod there. So he's going to be hitting on a four with the one attack. That's a hit. Wounding on a two. That's a wound, because it doubles his strength, but that's what the high voltage does. Um, and he had furious charge, so it was going to be a nine uh, there. So, uh, three up, armor save. No, and I go down. So that is actually a tie combat, believe it or not. Bwah, bwah. All right, and that is it for the orc turn here on turn two. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels on turn two. All right, and now the uh, Dark Angels responding to the unexpectedly stiff resistance here are uh, moving in. So these guys stood still over here. These guys shot around to the rear of these guys. They stopped locked in combat. These guys jumped over here, and these guys uh, scrambled up to the top over there. So that's it for the movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn two. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, now these guys, the snipers, are going to fire into his flyer. Since they have to snap fire anyway, may as well try to take the shot. So we got three shots here, hitting on sixes. Fill faces! No, nothing there. Bwomp, bwomp. All right, moving over to here. Uh, he is going to throw a crack grenade, and he's going to throw uh, shoot his plasma gun. So... We've got uh, black is going to be the crack grenade. Green is going to be rapid fire and plasma guns. Hitting on threes. All hits. That's what I like to see. Glancing on a four. Glancing on a three because I got rear armor there. Oh, okay. So we got one glance and one pen. Um, let's, uh, let's do the glance first. So that becomes a wreck. And then we've got the one pen. Plus one, can I pop him? Come on, show me a filth face. No, six, it's immobilized though. So uh, that's the second best, I'll take it. All right, so he's down a hull point and immobilized. Sounds good to me, woo. All right, so these guys are going to throw a crack grenade into them, because that's the only thing that can do anything. So, hitting on a three, that's a hit. Glancing on a front armor is 11, so glancing on a five. No, nothing there. All right, my five snipers here are gonna fire into his Big Mac over here. So we got five shots, hitting on threes. I got three hits. Wounding on fours. We got three wounds. One of them's rending, but he's got a four up cover save anyway. So we got three four up saves. Oh, and he takes a wound. Oh, oh feel no pain. Sorry, I forgot to feel no pain. No, he takes a wound. All right. All right. And now the Storm Bolter here is going to fire into him. Hitting on threes. Got two hits. Uh, toughness four. Wounding on fours. We got one wound. Oh, man. Four up. Oh, and he's good. Well done. All right. Moving over to here to this combat here. We've got my guy's going to go first. He's going to be hitting on a three. That's a hit. Wounding on a two. That's a wound. Uh, you said no saves on them, yeah. right? So One he is hit. dead. Bum, bum. All right, we'll come back to you with his attacks. All right, so over here we've got the Grots are going to attack. So we've got five attacks from the Grots hitting on fours. Oh, that one's cocked. All right, so we got two hits. Wounding on sixes. We got one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't go down to a crop, man. If you go down to a crop, we're going to disown you. So, three up, armor save. Okay, woo! You're lucky, otherwise you were about to be erased from the rolls. All right, and then we've got the one attack from the run herder here. Hitting on a four. 
That's a hit. Wounding strength six. strength six, so wounding on a two. That's a wound. Three up armor save. And he's good. All right. So I won. You lost combat by one. So what do you have? What's your leadership usually? Seven. Seven. So looking for a six. No, and they failed. So let's see initiative test. What's your initiative? Two. Two. Uh, yeah, I get you. So they are wiped out. All right. Woo. All right. We will re. I will. Uh, I will consolidate him, and then we'll come back to you after movement phase for the orcs here on turn three. All right, the orcs respond again. These guys are moving on the march over this way. This guy is uh, immobilized, so he is stuck right over there. Uh, the the Daka jet flew over this way, and in came his Bama over this way, and his uh, his big back still over there. So that's it for movement phase for the orcs here on turn three. We'll come back to you with a shooting phase. All right, so we're gonna start off with these guys shooting into these guys. So we're gonna go with the uh, the scorching and hit two guys. So strength five, so that's two wounds, two three up armor saves. They're good. All right, so he's gonna put on that guy right there. It's, I spaced him perfectly, so it's only gonna hit one on a direct hit. So the first one is scattering over this way three inches. Uh, so that's gonna hit two. This is better than if it was a direct hit. <laughs> so then we've got the second shot. It's gonna fall off two inches this way. That's gonna hit one out of that one. So that's up to three. Third shot. Uh, it's gonna fall off three inches this way. So that's gonna hit uh, one guy there. So that's up to four. And then the fourth shot is direct hit. So one guy. <laughs> All right, so we got five hits over here. Onto them from the Gratsuka. Strength six, so wounded on twos. We got four wounds. Four three up armor saves. Oh! <laughs> oh! No! Who even does that? Oh! All right. So, uh, yeah, four dead. Great. All right. So we will remove them, and we will come back to you with the next shooting. All right. So now his uh, his uh, Daka jet's gonna fire into these guys. So we got six shots hitting on uh, threes, fours hitting on fours. All right. Twin linked. Wow. Not that you needed it. Oh, six shots again. So strength six, wounding on twos. Oh. So we got six. Six wounds there. All right, six three up cover saves. Can you do better than your assault bros? No, I'm not going to ground. I got one dead. See, that's how you do it. You take one wound. That's how you do it. All right, you need to go talk to your assault brothers. All right, so he's got scree uh, moving over here to the bomb, and he's got screaming descent. So he's gonna try to drop the bomb over there. So this is to find out if he eats it. On a ten. Oh, uh, so he's just good. Uh, actually, it does special things. Oh, it does special things. We're gonna figure this one out and come back to you. All right, so he also gets to shoot his guns at my uh, drop pod that he's dropping the bomb onto on the way because of uh, what is it, Daka Daka Boom? Daka Daka Boom. So here come these shots hitting on fours. Five. Hitting on five. No, because oh, he doesn't have straight front. Oh, okay, hitting on fives. Oh, <laughs> thought that you need it. Oh, dang. So strength six, glancing on sixes. No, nothing on that one. So then we've got the bomb that we're going to be dropping right over there. So he's just going to have it like right on the edge over there. Is that going to hit the other guy if it's yeah. a direct hit? All right. So it's going to hit both on the direct hit. No modifier. Nope. Two inches this way. So it will just hit onto the uh, onto the uh, drop pod here. So what is it? Strength what? Seven armor bane. Strength seven armor bane. All right. So looking for fives to glance. That's a pen. Plus uh, AP what? Two. AP two, so plus two because he's also open topped. To the result, uh, six. So it's immobilized, which is plus one, uh, which is because he's already immobilized. So that's actually two whole points off of him. So he's down to one. So you're saying he's still alive? I'll take that. All right, now he gets to shoot into these guys over here because that first thing, the deck attack of boom, uh, doesn't take away from his shooting. So uh, the big ones are going to be his super shooter, which is going to be hitting on fives, twin linked. The uh, greens are going to be the big shooters with the, from the grots that are going to be hitting on fours, but not twin linked. So here we go, fours and fives. 
Uh, okay, so you got one. Uh, he's hitting on fives, isn't he? The, the big, big ones. Shooter. What's up? He says the big shooter. No, that was the super shooter. Was the big ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's well. twin link. Those are all twin link, though. Yeah, so these are twin links. So we got one hit from the big shooter. Uh, so we got one hit from the super shooter. So strength, what is it? Strength five, strength six. All right, strength five and strength six. So we hit wounded on threes on the small, twos on the big. All right, so we got one wound. One, three up, cover save. <laughs> and he did, of course he did. All right, uh, so moving on. And he's gonna fire into my plasma dude over there. So, hitting on a four. No, he misses, but it didn't get hot. So at least he didn't kill himself. <laughs> Alright, so I think that is it for the shooting phase. We'll come back to you with the assault phase. Alright, the assault phase. These guys are going to assault into them. He's seven inches away. So I'm going to throw a crack grenade in the overwatch. Hitting on fives and six. Oh, nothing there. So seven inches. Can he make it? Oh, he just makes it. Brutal. All right, so we will move them in and we'll come back to you with the fight sub phase. All right, so starting off here, my interrogator chaplain is gonna go first. He's got three base attacks, plus one for extra close combat weapon. Um, so uh, he's going to be hitting on threes, re-rolling because of Zealot first turn here. So hitting on threes. All right, all hits. Strength uh, plus two, so strength six. So looking for fives to glance. Uh, we got one glance and one pen. So, uh, those would just go through, right? Yeah. So let's see the result of the pen, or I guess, actually it has to go into the same one, so he's just gonna be a wreck, right? Yeah. So, so I can't blow it up, yeah. so he's just a wreck. So one guy is just a wreck. All right, and then one guy is gonna get to use a crack grenade. So, hitting on, uh, hitting on a three, that's a hit. Glancing on a five, no, nothing there. All right, we'll come back to you with the uh, the attacks from the uh, killer cans. We forgot about the hammer of rats, so we will do the hammer of rats here. So two hammer of rats wounding on threes. We got one wound, three up armor save. He's good. All right, so now we'll come back to you with the killer can attacks. All right, so now we got two guys that are left here coming in here. So we've got three attacks each. They are going to be wounding, uh, hitting on uh, fours, right? Yeah, hitting on fours. Oh no, that's brutal. All right, wounding on twos. <laughs> okay, so that's four that are just dead. All right, uh, and my guy is fearless, so we are locked in combat. All right, so we will come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn uh, blah, blah, blah. What are we, turn three, three, turn three. All right, movement phase here for the Dark Angels. These guys stood still. These guys shuffled around over this way, still staying in the rear arc of this guy. Uh, these guys are locked in combat. These guys stood still. And then he's also staying still back there, and he's immobilized, so he can't move anywhere. So that is it for the movement phase. We will come back to you with the shooting phase here on turn three. All right, so the drop pod is gonna fire into his uh, big mech there. So, hitting on threes. We got one hit, wounding on a four. No, nothing there. All right, snipers are gonna fire into his Big Mac over there. Hitting on threes. We got two hits, wounding on fours. We got one wound, rending, but it doesn't make a difference, or AP2 doesn't make a difference. Four up. Oh, and he's good. Now the plasma guy is gonna fire into his Big Mac over there. I want him dead. <laughs> so, hitting on threes. Oh my god, you got one hit, but I also got a gets hot. Come on, three up armor save. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right, so wounding on a two. That's a wound. Four up cover save. No! no! Feel no pain. You got feel no, no pain, right? No, you're toughness four, right? Yeah. Strength seven. Oh. That's strength oh seven. God. Yeah, you still got feel no pain. Feel no pain, cyborg. No, and now he is dead. So that is. Slay the warlord! Uh, Woo! All right, these guys are gonna fire into him. We've got crack grenades gonna be black. Greens are gonna be rapid fire and plasma. Hitting on threes. All right, just the plasma. Glancing on threes. Oh! <laughs> yep! Ah, yep! Okay, so that's a thing. That did happen right there. All right, so uh, moving on. All right, sniper scouts are gonna fire into the DACA jet over here. So, three shots, hitting on sixes. Oh, I got one. Glancing on a six. 
Oh, I saw that fill face. It wanted to come, but it didn't. So that is it for the shooting phase here for the Dark Angels. We will come back to you uh, with, I'm not going to charge the, those bikes into him. I wish I could, but I'm not going to. All right, we'll come back to you with the uh, fight sub phase that we got going on. All right, so here we go into this attack over here. We're going to start out with my uh, interrogator chaplain. He's got three attacks base, plus one for extra close combat weapon. Hitting on a three. No reroll. Don't need it. Glancing on a five. We got one cocked and one pen. We got one pen. So uh, let's see the result of the pen. It is a two. So snap shooting doesn't make a difference. So he's just down a hull point. All right. So we will come. Oh, and then I've got the one guy with the uh, crack grenade hitting on a hitting on a three. No, nothing there. So we'll come back to you with their attacks. All right, so now his guys are going to attack in. Majority weapon skill is actually a five now, which means that he's going to be hitting on fives. So we've got four, uh, four attacks hitting on fives. Oh, he wouldn't even have done it on fours. All right, so you lost combat. How does that work with them? Well, they're just dreaded. Oh, okay, they're just dreaded. Yeah, they're fine. So uh, we will... Uh, all right, that's pretty good. I'll take that. That's, a, that's about as good as I could have hoped for that to have happened. So uh, we will come back to you after movement phase for the orcs here on turn four. Four. Yes, four. All right, movement phase for the orcs here. The flyers are starting to try to circle around here. Uh, he is immobilized down there. And these guys are locked in combat. And that is it. That's all he's got left. So we will come back to you with the shooting phase for the or Actually, no one can actually shoot. So we will actually come back to you just with this uh, fight sub phase that we got going on here on uh, turn four here. All right, come back to you with this fight sub phase. My uh, interrogator chaplain's going to go first. Three base attacks, plus one for extra close combat weapon. Hitting on threes. Oh, okay, just the one. Glancing on a five. That's a glance, so he is dead. All right, woo! And then we got the crack grenade here, hitting on a three. That's a hit. Glancing on a five. No, nothing there. All right, so we'll come back to you with his attacks. So he's got two base attacks here, hitting on uh, fives, and no, nothing there. So that will continue on. So we will come back to you after movement phase for Dark Angels here on turn four. All right, movement phase. These guys stood still where they are. These guys shot over here realizing they don't really need to kill him. <laughs> they just got to get to the middle there. Uh, these guys are locked in combat. These guys move through cover six inches over this way. And uh, he's moved six inches over this way, moving to get into the middle there to, uh, to secure the middle. So that is it for movement phase. We will come back to you with the shooting phase for Dark Angels here on turn four. All right, these guys are going to fire into his bomb over here. So three shots hitting on sixes. Show me some fell facers. Yeah, got one. Glancing on a fill first. No, nothing there. All right, moving out. All right, so now my plasma guy there is going to fire into him. So rapid fire range, two shots, hitting on threes. Oh, come on. One hit, one gets hot. Three plus armor save. He's good. So the one hit, looking on side armor 11. So looking for a four to glance. That's a glance, so he's finally down. I'll take it. And these guys are gonna snap fire into his bomber. Hitting on sixes, show me some fill facers. No, nothing there. All right, so that is it for shooting. Nope, I've got one more shooting I gotta do. Storm Bolter into him. So, hitting on sixes. No, nothing there. All right, so now we'll come back to you with the one fight says you got going on. All right, back over here, my interrogator chaplain is going to swing first. So he's got uh, three base plus one for extra close combo weapon. Uh, hitting on three, so we got three hits. Glancing on fives. We got uh, this one's cocked. No, nothing there. And then I got the crack grenade hitting on a three. That's a hit. Glancing on a five. Nothing. All right, so now we'll come back to you with his attack. Two attacks hitting on fives. We got one. Wounded on a two. No! It rolls a one. Killer! All right, so we will come back to you after movement phase for the orcs here on turn five. All right, so movement phase for orcs here on turn five. His flyers are conga lining along this way. Uh, moving up their uh, required 18 inches and now uh, we're gonna and uh, everyone else he's locked in combat and everyone else is dead So we will come back to you with the uh, with the shooting phase here on turn five All right, we're gonna start out here with the Daga jet into these guys. So hitting on fours twin linked 
Okay. All right, so got four hits, wounded on twos. We got three wounds, three, three up. They're gonna go to ground. So three, two up cover saves. Yeah, they would have been good with three pluses, but I'll take it. Woo! And now his Blitz Obama is gonna fire into them. So the big one's gonna be the Super Shooter, twin linked, hitting on fives. And then these are gonna be hitting on fours. All right, so we got one super shooter hit, two big shooter hits. So wounding on uh, strength five, right? So threes on the small one, uh, twos on the on the big one. Okay, so just the one wound. Uh, they went to ground, so two plus uh, cover save. Oh, good thing I went to ground. I'll take it. Woo! All right, that's it for the shooting phase here. So moving on to the assault phase, my interrogator chaplain is going to go three base plus one for extra close combat weapon. Hitting on threes. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Four hits. W glancing on fives. We got one glance. All right. And then we've got the one crack grenade. Come on, regular assault marine. Show him what you're worth. Hitting on a three. No. Okay. <laughs> that's what you're worth. All right. So he's down to one. All right. And now he gets to attack back. Two attacks hitting on fives. Oh, he gets one. Wounding on a two. Oh, and it's a wound. I'm... Yeah, I'm just gonna take it on my regular guy. I was gonna try to make him be all heroic, but that would double him out, and I don't feel like giving up Slay the Warlord that easily. All right, so he's fearless, so they will stick in combat. So we will come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn five. So movement phase here for the Dark Angels on turn five. These guys shuffled around over this way. He running out over this way. These guys stood still, and he is still locked in combat. So, uh, that is it for, oh, and these guys are back over here, but who cares? So, <laughs> that is it for the movement phase for Dark Angels here on turn five. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so these guys are gonna fire into his Blitz Obama here. So the blacks are gonna be the rapid firing plasma gun. Greens are gonna be the rapid firing bolt gun, which is twin link. So, hitting on sixes. Oh, <laughs> of course. All right, well, just let's do the twin link here on the on these. Okay, at least I got one with the with the uh, with the bolter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, okay, that was so Phil. All right, two three up armor saves. Oh, no, and he's dead. Wah, wah. So let's see if this thing does anything. Glancing on a six. Oh, I saw the Phil face, but it didn't stay on it. So, uh, yeah, nothing. Wah, wah. He is gonna fire into him. Hitting on sixes. Okay, no sixes, but at least I didn't blow myself up. So, positive thinking, right? These guys are gonna fire into his bomber. Hitting on sixes. Nothing. He's gonna fire into his bomber. Hitting on sixes. Nothing. These guys are gonna fire into his bomber. Hitting on sixes. Nothing. All right, and that is it for the shooting phase. We will come back to you with the one fight phase we got going on. All right, now, his interrogate chaplain, three base, one extra close combo weapon, hitting on threes. We got three hits. Glancing on fives, he just needs one more. Yeah, there it is. All right, so he goes down. All right, so we will consolidate him, and then we will, uh, actually, let's roll to see if it goes on. So. On a three up, it goes on. It does go on, right? Yes, three yeah. up, yes. All right, four up, actually. No, three up, three up. <laughs> All right, so it goes on. So we'll come back to you after a movement phase for the orcs here on turn five, uh, six. All right, movement phase for the orcs here on turn six. These guys are flying off this way. Um, so that's it. That's <laughs> all got left here. So we're going to come back to you with the uh, shooting phase. All right, so he is going to drop the bomb onto my uh, that one Marine right over there. So let's see what happens with it. Six. Just like this. Just, what's up? Just like this. Just like this. So it's just a regular dropping the bomb. Yep. Dropping the bomb. Right on top of him there. So let's see what scatters. Uh, direct hit. So that will hit him. Strength what? Seven, AP two. Strength seven, AP two. So wounding on two. Oh, just one no, die. Yeah, because armor. He does not have armor. On a two. Oh, he did. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No. Screw that. He's gonna go to ground. Show me this Phil face. Show me the Phil face. Oh no, he did. <laughs> so he is just dead. All right. So that is it for the uh, 
That is it for a shooting phase. So we will come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn six. All right, movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn six. These guys shot over here to secure the landing zone uh, behind the flyers that are flying away into the, uh, into the ether. Uh, these guys stood still. These guys stood still. He is immobilized. So we'll come back to you with the shooting phase here on turn six. All right, shooting phase. He is going to throw a crack grenade up into the back over here because I promised I would. So hitting on a six. Oh! Glancing on a four. Oh, I wanted that so bad. That would have been hilarious. All right, moving on. All right, he's going to fire into the bomber. Hitting on sixes. No. He's gonna fire into the bomber. Yeah! On a six. No. And then these guys are gonna fire into the bomber, hitting on sixes. Uh, no, nothing there. So that is it for the Dark Angels turn here. And uh, that's actually gonna be it for the game because these guys are gonna fly off the edge there and uh, just do nothing else. They're gonna fly off to try to get some reinforcements, let them know that the Umis are down here uh, making a stronghold here. So. Uh, that's it. It's Dark Angel victory, securing the landing pad with uh, massive amounts of losses, some to themselves, <laughs> with their their, their uh, plasma guns blown up in their face. Um, but all in all, that was a pretty brutal, brutal, brutal game. I thought it was awesome with the uh, with the chaplain just like beating down uh, Killikans left and right over here, just like whacking Grotz in the face through the through the uh, through the portholes, um, and then uh, just managing to maneuver my bikes just enough so he couldn't drop bombs on me. Was uh, that was the that was the key moments there. So um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. This is going to be an ongoing narrative campaign that we're going to have going on. So we will come back to you uh, to the uh, the planet of Thrace again uh, and see how it goes on. See if the Dark Angels can success liberate this planet from the orc threat. So, I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed it. I had a blast. Uh, I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent has been Hogshead. And until next time, have fun. Have fun.